This is the most perverted game in Japan, called the Princess and Slaves. The three iron cages in front of you, the left and right sides of the lion has been hungry for 20 days. The middle is the beautiful princess. The next person on the stage is the slave. He was dragged out by the staff, and his feet and neck rested on the chain. In front of him there are three buttons. If you choose the princess will be able to get 30 million yen prize. If he chooses the wrong one, he will become a delicious snack for the lion. However, the slave seems very confident, because the princess is his girlfriend, and even took the opportunity to propose a marriage, saying that they will get married immediately after the prize money. Then the game began, and the number 2 appeared on the screen. The slave excitedly asked the princess should choose which number. It turns out that the princess can see the answer. But unexpectedly, she thought for a moment and then showed an evil smile. It's number 1. I love you. The slave pressed the number 1 button without hesitation, and the iron door that closed the lion opened instantly. The slave turned and ran, but was held by the chains on his feet. In the end, he could only perish. Seeing this bloody scene, the audience all cheered with excitement. What kind of sick mind is this? His girlfriend got a 3 million yen bonus for betrayal. What's love? The second slave was Keith, and the princess he faced was Anna, who had betrayed him, facing life and death. Keith could only beg her in a low voice to tell him the right number. Anna glanced at the screen and gave her answer. Number 3. At that moment, the uncle on the side shouted. Keith, you can be careful. You forget how this woman lied to you before. She said 3. It must not be 3. At this moment, Keith was confused. Looking at the hungry lion in front of him, he was going to collapse, whether to trust Anna or not. Suddenly, he heard someone call his name. What is the most important thing in making a choice? Awareness right? Do the awareness and press the button quickly. It turns out that this person is Leo, Keith's former rival. Keith remembered what Leo had said to him. The most important thing in chess is courage. Courage. And awareness. Leo just said awareness. So the answer is 3. Keith looked at the button in front of him and pressed the number 3 button. The iron door opened instantly and there was Anna in front of him. He had chosen the right one. Keith excitedly expressed his gratitude to Anna. But Anna said it was not necessary. The organizer told me to say so. Because the organizers knew that Anna and Keith were not on good terms, they let Anna say the right answer on purpose. They thought Keith would not believe Anna, but they missed the mark. The reason Leo helped Keith was to join him and uncle. With the 30 million yen startup capital, they can challenge the most difficult game of claw together. You know, the prize money of this game is won. 3 billion yen. These marbles that fall like water are worth 4,000 yen each. Players who can pass the game can win all the marbles in the machine. How much money is passed? One level is 100 million yen. There are 13 levels in total. 1. 3 billion yen. And the rules of the game are simple. Players hit the marbles. Marbles through the steel jungle. To the bottom three layers of the disc. And then through the red hole into the next layer. At the end. As long as there is a marble into the red hole in the third layer, you will pass the game. Simple, right? It is because it looks super simple, which attracts a large number of players to play. But in the end, they lost only to be captured as slaves. Because this machine has a hidden secret. Now it's Keith's turn to play. He exchanged 10 million yen of marbles and pressed the start button. The marbles easily passed through the steel jungle. When the staff took a look, their faces immediately changed. This is not right. It turns out that the steel jungle has three templates, A, B, C, and B. The pegs on template A were the whitest, so almost all the marbles could pass through without any problem, and the other two templates can pass through the few steel balls. But today they are not using template A. At this point, Tom, the head of the casino, called a halt to the game. He said with certainty that they had tampered with the marbles, infiltrated the company in advance and replaced the marbles with smaller ones, and then asked Anna to show the evidence. Anna slowly took out a recorder. It turns out that after the last game of Princess and Slave, Anna came to Keith, saying that she no longer wanted to be a pawn of the casino and wanted to join them. But they did not expect that she was actually here to be an undercover agent. Now, as soon as Tom measured the size of the marbles, Keith and the others would be miserable. Tom was baffled that the marbles were qualified. But Anna had stolen their plan. They didn't change the marbles at all. It turns out they never trusted Anna from the beginning. Usually, they discussed fake plans. They were using Anna's betrayal to cover up their real purpose. In fact, they punched a hole above the coordination room, secretly used magnets to suck up the adjustment rods, and then replaced the tips of the rods with larger ones. They repeated this action every day. In this way, it was Tom himself who adjusted the gap of the steel forest bigger and bigger. Knowing the truth, Tom was furious, but there was nothing he could do. The game continued. However, 
Even if the Steel Spike jungle lost its effect, Tom is not afraid, because the next level too, he has a more powerful mechanism. Tilt the dial. Now, see how you can crack. Do you want to get rich overnight? This machine can help you achieve. It has a total of three layers of discs. As long as each layer to let the marbles fall into the red hole to pass. This machine marbles are yours. Worth one. Three billion yen. However, how can the casino let people easily win the prize? They have already tampered with the machine. First, the reels are tilted forward so that the marbles come to the third level and must climb the slope to enter the red hole. So it is impossible to win. And in order not to let the guests find out, even the game machine itself and even the whole room floor, they have used the remote control to adjust the tilt. However, at this moment, Keith's marbles passed the first two levels without any problems and came to the third level. I, I try. Chance Although the marble did not enter the red hole, Tom found that the marble could climb the slope. How is this possible? It turns out that as a veteran player, Keith found out the secret of the plot as early as the first time he watched others play. So a few days ago, taking advantage of the building chassis construction, they disguised as cleaners, using plastic sinks to build 20 water storage tanks, and then all filled with water. In this way, the weight of 20 tons balanced the tilt of the building, so that the disc back to a horizontal position. So as long as the game continues, Keith is sure to win. Tom of course will not let him win. He immediately used the remote control to adjust the tilt in the opposite direction. In this way, the probability of passing the first two floors will be reduced. But the downside is that if the marble enters the third level, it will 100% enter the red hole. Sure enough, Tom's method worked. Marbles even the first layer cannot pass until Keith used up the last marble. Tom finally breathed a sigh of relief. Soon, Keith found the problem. He also knew how to deal with it. So, he immediately looked for his companions to raise money for the final struggle. It turns out that Keith found that the earliest tilt, the marbles that did not win would be discharged from the pipe. But now, Keith tilted the building to make the reels appear horizontal. Tom tilted the reels backwards, causing the discharge holes and pipes to face upwards so that the marbles could not be discharged and block the pipes. Now as long as there are enough marbles to fill the pipe, the marbles behind will certainly fall into the boom. But this is simply burning money. Soon, the first layer was filled, followed by the second layer was also filled. With the marbles into the third layer, the atmosphere was tense to the extreme. But just when the marbles were about to slide into the red hole, they were instantly bounced off by a wave of air. The original, Tom used the killer, air wave. This is too shameless. It is simply open robbery. At this point, Keith's marbles had run out. The staff grabbed him and prepared to throw him into the ground as a slave. But at that moment, Anna suddenly took out 10 million yen and asked Keith to continue gambling. Everyone was shocked. If you win, I won't take any less money. This woman is very realistic. But Keith couldn't care less. So he took the money and rushed on to the final game. At this point, the marbles have been spread over the third layer. Finally, the strong wind at the entrance of the cave can no longer stop the weight of the marbles. With Keith's roar, the marbles successfully enter the red hole. Great! It's in! Squeezed in! Congratulations! You're the winner!